Hi, my name is Michael and I'm a welding specialist at Mechatronic. Today I'm going to talk about our arc adjust function. So arc adjust is about stabilizing the arc, fine tuning the arc, so it's an extra tool you might find handy. Back in days or on older machines, on the Micmac machines, we had our grounding either in 1, 2, 3 or A, B, C. In number 1 you get a colder weld, in number 3 you get a hotter weld. And it was called inductance. Nowadays on our inverter based machines, Micmac machines, it's called arc adjust. It's an electronic choke, so that means it has the same function. If you're welding with solid wires and maybe you have to do a fillet weld in position PF and you can't find the exact uh, amps. You think it's too cold, if you try to use your voltage in order to get it melted more, but you don't think it works, then you need to find the arc adjust. If you're welding a root pass and you think it gets too hot, you can't trim your way out of it, so that means you have to find out what to do. It could also be that if you're pulse welding, especially on stainless steel or aluminum, and you can see that it gets micro spatter when you weld. You can even touch it or feel it on the material surface, so that's something we have to get rid of. So what is arc adjust? Arc adjust works in two ways. You can use it in short arc circuit, in DC weld, or you can use it in pulse welding. If we take a look at the DC weld, and it only works in short arc circuit, if you have found good settings, but you can see it spatters a little bit or you get an unstable arc, so that's why you need to find our arc adjust. If you choose to go in minus, the frequency will increase, so that means the wire will be chopped up in many, many small droplets, and that's why it gets cooler. If you choose to go in plus, the frequency will be lower, and the droplets will be bigger, but the time in between will be slower, so that's why it gets hotter and also the sound picture will be different compared to if you go in minus on the arc adjust. If we take a look at pulse welding, it's very important that we don't get any spatter when welding. So that means if you can see spatter when welding, we need to find our arc adjust and find out if I have to go in minus or in plus. If you go in minus, your frequency will increase, so that means we will take or lower our pulse heights, and then you need to find out, okay, how much do I need in order to get rid of the spatter. You can try minus 0.2, minus 0.4, until you can see the arc is being stabilized and the spatter is off. If you choose to go in plus on our arc adjust, the frequency will be lower, and then of course our pulse heights will increase a bit, if that's what you need. So also again, try 0 0.2, 0 0.4, and see for yourself what makes the difference. If your settings on the arc adjust in plus or minus gets too extreme, then you will experience an unstable arc. So try with small steps at a time until it works for you. So in minus, you normally get a colder weld, in plus, normally a warmer weld. So that was a little bit about our arc adjust. Let's go in the workshop and see how it works. I will demonstrate how to find it and then we'll do some practical weld and then we can see the difference. Welcome to our workshop. I'll now show you how easy it is to find our arc adjust and then I'll give you some examples how to use it and I'll weld on stainless steel and in mild steel. I will now guide you through how to find our arc adjust. You have found good settings with the voltage and the amps, but you think you need something. You know, maybe you need a little bit more heat into the material. So we go into our menu, we find process setup, and then we have our icon for arc adjust. Press here, neutral settings, default settings. If you think you can see micro spatter, you go in minus normally, test it by 0 0.2, 0 0.4 at a time until you have find the right settings. If you need to go in plus, you increase the heat into the material a little bit, if that's needed, and in minus, of course, it will get a little bit colder. Find your settings. When you have find the right, correct settings, you accept it. 
and then you are ready to go. Remember, in DC mode, it's only in the short arc circuit that you can use arc adjust. It doesn't have a functionality in the spray arc circuit, only short arc. If you want to pulse weld, we go into our menu with the arc and torch, find pulse, activate it. So now we're in pulse mode. When you have found some good settings, but you think, ah, it gets too hot, you might not be able to do something about the trimming on the voltage. It doesn't really help. Then you need to go into our arc adjust function. Press the menu, go to process setup, find the symbol for our electronic choke, arc adjust as we call it, press. Always start with our neutral settings, our default settings. If you want to have a little bit cold, you go into minus a little bit, the frequency will increase. And that also helps with the pulse heights are too high. If you can see micro spatter, you normally go into minus. If you think you need a little bit more heat into the material, you always go in plus with the arc adjust. Try step by step with a small amount every time. And once you have found it, accept it. And now you have hopefully get a perfect weld. Now the machine is set up. I'll now show you how important it is to find the correct settings on the machine. And I'll give you a few examples in mild steel and in stainless steel, both with pulse and in DC weld. So where can we use our arc adjust function? In DC mode, only short arc circuit. It can be used in any type of materials. Micmac weld process only. And in pulse mode, it's to get rid of micro spatter. So to summarize our arc adjust function, it helps you to stabilize the arc. It helps you to remove micro spatter. And it's easy to use. So with these words, thank you for watching.